Hello and welcome to the Dynata training series. This video will cover the basics of creating cross tabs. If you are new to research data analysis, cross tabs are a common industry term for data tables that are produced from survey data. You can think of them as a way of breaking down your survey responses into various groups and calculating data and metrics from those survey responses. Cross tabs are flexible tables that can be used for checking your numbers statistical analysis or even creating data tables for chart whether you are modifying an existing cross tab or creating one from scratch the process is essentially the same so we will begin by clicking the new button on the cross tab page the designer is organized into tabs that cover all the properties of a cross tab the design tab is where we decide which variable to include in our cross tab as well as which calculations to display. You will see that there are two windows in the designer. On the left, we have the list of the variables in this data set. They are sorted in the order the question appear in the survey or the data set. If you expand the category, you can see any variables that belongs to it. As you view these variables, note that the variable name is being displayed in this list. You can view the variable code or both the code and names at the same times. This is particularly useful if you have a large number of variables in your data set or if they may have similar labels. You can also change how variables are sorted in this list. Sort in alphabetical order by choosing this option. If needed, search for variables here. This is handy if you don't know what category your variable is in or it's difficult to locate in a long list. When you use the search function, market set will display all the variables from any category that contain the search term. You can clear the search term and return to viewing all variables by clicking on X. In the middle of the cross tab designer, there is a tab window for the variables you want in your cross tabs. Designing a cross tab means determining which variables and calculation you want to show in your table columns and table rows. Selecting column variables on the left and dragging them to the appropriate area here automatically generates a cross tab in the window on the right. Let's choose our column variables. We can select one variable at a time or select multiple variables simultaneously. For this example, we will include age and gender as our column variable. You can reorder these variables in the window by dragging and dropping or by using these arrows. By default, the cross tab designer has included all possible answers to these questions in our cross tab. Let's take a look at the different values for these two variables to see if there are any we would like to exclude from this cross tab. You can expand each variable individually or you can click here to expand all of them all at once. The cross tab will use the full variable name by default. However, we may want to tweak or adjust those labels. Now let's take a look at the column headers and make a labeling change. I'll click on the option link here and we will change the label for one of our values for age. We will change older adults greater than 45 label to 45 plus. That's it for setting up our columns. Now let's move into the rows. To select our rows, let's expand the provider recommendation category on the variable list. We will add some variables by moving them to the rows tab. Remember, you can select and move multiple variables at once.
If you want to adjust your row variable in some way, you can simply right click on the variable name and choose edit variable. Once the edit is complete, any adjustments I make will appear in the crosstab preview on the right. As we look at the crosstab, we can see calculations are automatically displayed for each row variable. You can modify which calculations are shown by clicking on the options link and choosing calculations. For example, we could choose to show the sample size, column percentage, and mean for unique wireless for a quick overview of the data in that variable. That's really all it takes to set up your rules. In fact, if you set your user defaults in the options section, then you don't need to change these settings while building your cross tabs. Now let's create top two and bottom two boxes. We can do that on the next window accessible from this drop down. To define the net, we have to click on add a net. Then we have to specify values. In this case, top two will be the six and the seven, and then we have to provide label as top two. Similarly, we can add bottom two box by adding another two values and specify label as bottom two. These nets can be positioned above or below the existing variable values in the cross tab. Creating NPS or net promoter score is similar to creating nets in cross tab. All you have to do is to click on add a net and change the first drop down to NPS. Now select the values to be added in the promoter and detractor groups. Give the NPS calculation a label and choose where to display the NPS calculation in the cross tab. To save time, we want to set up all of our rating scale questions like this while we are here. Market side list is the variable that these settings could apply to here in the bottom left. All you need to do is to select the variables you would like to apply the same changes to, then move them to the right hand panel. Click OK to apply the net setting to those variables. Let's move on to the filters tab where we will set up a filter to limit the number of server responses that are included in this cross tab. You can create filters on the fly by choosing one or more variables from the data set and selecting certain values. To do this, simply drag and drop variables into the filters tab. By default, every value will be selected and the data included in the cross tab. If you don't want to include some data, deselect values. As you can see, different variable types will have a different filter style by default. For example, a numeric open end will give you a slider that can be used to filter respondents in or out, or you can choose to define ranges. That wraps up the filter section. Keep in mind, that when you create your own cross tabs, you'll be working much faster and typically choosing only your columns and rows. We have gone into a fair amount of detail about additional features in this video that you won't always need to do each time. So let's save this cross tab and close the editor to take a closer look. Age and gender are the column variables arranged side by side, while provider recommendation variables are the rows. Our filter variables at the left and can be used at any time.
You can also see by the blue highlighting in this cross tab that market site automatically run the appropriate test for statistical significance. Holding my mouse over these color coded cells provide more information about stat test result. This note at the top of the cross tab tells us that the cross tab is running stat test at 95% confidence. I can change the confidence level on the statistic tab at any time. Stat testing is obviously a complicated topic and we recommend you view our additional training videos and that subject for more information. When your analysis is complete, you may want to export and save this cross tab as an Excel, PDF or PowerPoint. To do that, click on export and select the output format you would like. In addition, you can select various options. Select include table of contents here and a separate sheet will organize links will be added to the exported file. Depending on your cross tab design, advanced data options may be available when exporting. Export all data is enabled by default and provide the exact same cross tab seen online in a single Excel sheet. You can change it to other data options if required. Market site will export this cross tab and you can download the file in a few seconds from the task list here. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.